Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Yesterday, show sent me a old study of mass spectrometry data for a Mars gas uh, using a prototype uh, generator. And it was done by the Tokyo Institute of Technology, which is the national university in Tokyo, Japan. And uh, this is uh, the summary note I've translated a good proportion of the Japanese uh, Nippon Techno Co Limited. So um, if we go into the detail here, um, it goes over some of the parameters here. So uh, it says the gas production method with a, with a low frequency vibration agitator. Um, it's patented, I guess. Uh, is generated by electrolyzing the electrolyte solution using and then they go for one, uh, the experiment equipment was a hydrogen oxygen mixed ge gas generator and uh, the prototype device and it's attached in the drawings at the end. The electrolyzer plates, I guess, were made of stainless steel 304. The, uh, some form of uh, paste in the form of uh, vinyl chloride. Uh, heat resistant vinyl chloride at two, two millimeters was pasted onto the inner surface. Maybe someone who speaks Japanese can make a slightly better translation of that. Uh, some dimensions there. Then the lid was made of stainless steel 304. Maybe that's the casing. Uh, and it had vibration stirring. And the uh, it's saying it was 400 watts, three phase, 200 volts. And the vibration device was a uh, Dan Murakami Seiki Manufacturing Co. Limited, and it was driven at 40 hertz by an inverter. The vibrating blade uh, was uh, 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 not quite sure what it's saying here, but it's saying that it was made of titanium sheets. The vibration uh, vanes were made of uh, titanium, six of them. And the distance between poles uh, on the uh, electrolyzer um, was 20 millimeters. Okay, so the electrolysis conditions uh, they did have in this uh, early prototype potassium hydroxide, 8% to 8%. Uh, they had a 1.5 volt DC and 30 amps per dm uh, squared and a liquid temperature of 25 degrees C. Then the gas analysis uh, device specs are there. And then they do some analysis here. So experimental results and measurement, gas composition table. So you've got H2, uh, H, that's I guess monatomic hydrogen, H3 or HD, uh, so tritium or I. A molecule of hydrogen and deuterium. Then they have OH uh, radical, 16O uh, radical, I guess, uh, H2O, um, either nitrogen gas or carbon monoxide, um, potential candidates at that mass level, I guess, oxygen uh, molecule, carbon dioxide molecule, and whatever. Uh, and the the two different samples here is uh, collected in rubber containment container measured half an hour after gas sampling and the second grouping um, which are the B numbers are collected in carton package measurement 24 hours after sampling so uh, I guess uh, there's a change over a period of time in certain aspects so, uh, you know, this may not surprise a lot of people, uh, but it's mixed gas. Um, uh, what sort of structure this takes, uh, who can say? Um, uh, but uh, when it's looked at, a mat, uh, processed and put into a mass analyzer, um, so they're doing a, a voltage shock here, and uh, they have an ionization method. So um, whilst it contains these things, the actual process of... Uh, doing the analysis, maybe breaking up any clusters that are in there um, uh, before the actual masses are analysed.
So they they have uh, you know the, I think that where I'm reading this is, is the basic level that was output at a particular mass number. Then there's a uh, some that are times by ten and some that are times by a hundred. I think, uh, and they have two figures here. Um, what it's saying is discussion of experimental results. Uh, the gas contains many active gases other than hydrogen and oxygen, uh, and then it lists the. Uh, uh, the components you saw above contains about 3.5 to 4 uh, percent mole of water. Um, and I'll zoom back down. So you've got a couple of charts here, um, and I think that where you have the three, this is multiplied by 100, one is as is, uh, and two is multiplied by 10. I think uh, it'd be interesting to get people's thoughts on that. Um, and then it has a diagram for um, the prototype gas generator so for those that are interested uh, but of course there are the patents also so that is a, a very old uh, analysis of the gas uh, from a prototype generator thank you for your time